good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Rebellion. Done. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? That's a head. I can't say that I do. It appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of Graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a Graphorn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favour. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all, but it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now. Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Tell me more about what needs to be done, Professor. Certainly. You're to find and subdue a graphorn that lives nearby. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of... So I shall wish you good luck and wait for you... Revelio. There were galleons in it. Why's a mouse, Randy? Say am I. Could it be a Merlin trial? I've heard stuff. Oh, oh, enjoy this. Reducto. Blue stuff. Head in the clouds, this one.
Revelio. All flavor of the Italy have a dark heart. It's about time Rookwood took control. He doesn't need Rat Rock. This looks intriguing. Revelio. practically swimming in galleons. This must be the place. Revelio. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself.
need your help, friend. Slow down now. There we go. Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. I see you. Bring him. Real quick, don't go down easy. Crossing that bridge, whether you like it or not. Don't oh. interfere with us and that woman, isn't it? Protect her. I'm fixated on murder. Race down, my friend. Rebellion. Perhaps Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. 
I shall see you back in the map chamber. Revelio. Hello? Is it Ora? Is it Ora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Oh, Percival. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. you to return to your common room, all right? What have you done? Your breath. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs>
The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. Throughout the many goblin battles, countless wizard cloaks were lost. 
Actually, we do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the Bell Tower entrance hall. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellions. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Eirgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragball? I... I think I know that name. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Oh, of course. Hodgott said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Now, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbold Weft, another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right nearby. Curious student, play here in the bell tower entrance hall. Revelio. This is a centuries-old likeness of Pangborn. Fearless mouse hunter and devoted study companion. People have always loved their pets. I'll find that comfort. Why do students always frown? Patient burn the castle. In all the centuries that hold This unassuming smudge is rumored to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. I suppose successful is a relative term, since whoever cast it didn't live to tell tale. Uh, students often complain about the many staircases at Hogwarts. Uh... Oh yes, I see you found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking them out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buddle. He's also nearby. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of Rebellion. royal knights, or rather, statues of knights, I should Sir Afpuddle. Keen-eyed students will spot the statue of Sir Afpuddle of the cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. Revelio. You know, Sir 
celebrated by old friends and newcomers alike. I encourage everyone to make the waving statues acquaintance. Professor Bins, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Hmm. History does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. How can we do so much and accomplish so little? Revelio. 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 Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark.
Rebellion. There's Ollivanders. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Not enough reflection on the path. Lumos. Alohomora. Ourselves a wizard kind's best friend. Always happen. Revelio. You ever look at the eye? No. Revelio. Alohomora. What do we have here? A demigod. Revelio. Rebellion.
Lumos.